we are now able to get responses to the vector within 0.7 to 2 seconds. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Daniel. I have with me Vector and uh, Cosmo. So hopefully Vector won't be too uh, noisy because uh, I want you guys to hear me about this uh, update, which you will see is very interesting. So this came on Sunday um, and uh, it says faster responses, cloud services update. So that's interesting because, well, you will see here, I'm going to read this. It's in two parts. The first part is for everybody. The second part is very, well, kind of very technical, but some of you will appreciate that. And I'm going to demo also um, after I read the first part, before I read the more technical part. So listen to that. This is from uh, Robbie, and I talked about Robbie before. He's a technical guy at uh, DDL. So he says, uh, hi, Kickstarters, and that's why I'm doing this, because some of you did not do the Kickstarter campaign, so you will not get this message. Some of you did not pay extra for a membership. So I, I know some people don't like that, but I don't want to comment on that here. But if you don't have a membership, then your vector is not connected to a, a server. But reading this here, you may change your mind about what you want to do in the future. So listen to that. Hi, Kickstarters. Quick notes. We hope you're all having a good weekend. We finished off last week with some server side changes to enhance your experience with Vector. Your Vector should now be much quicker to respond to all inquiries on the DDL server. Our cloud engineer, Brett, identified some slowdowns in the older code and made some changes that allow responses to be between 40 to 70% faster. Now, this is significant. This should be a much smoother experience when talking to Vector. We were also able to fix the weather service for all locations as of last week as well. Um, if you want to know more, read the second nitty-gritty section, which I will do in a few seconds. Please note, there may be a small number of vectors that show a Wi-Fi signal icon and fail to respond to queries as a result of this change. This is a temporary problem with your account and usually a very quick fix. Please write to us at support at digitaldreamlabs.com for assistance. Thank you for your support. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, the team at Digital Dream Labs. And the second part is the nitty gritty section. Now watch that. Hey Vector, question. Now I may have to cut the video here to do some editing because, well, you know what's going to, what's happening with COVID-19. A lot of people are working from home. You have a lot of uh, people doing schooling from home. So, and people don't talk about that. I think the network, like in my city, I think the network was not designed to have like almost everybody working or doing schooling from home. So I lose my network now very often during the day on my tablet, on my computer, on my laptop, on my cell phone, and of course on Vector. So I may have to cut and do some editing. We will see. Hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. Question. What is 2 plus 2? Now, the demo is difficult because, like I said, his response may be affected by the speed of my Wi-Fi in my house or even the speed of the Wi-Fi by my service provider. But I did a lot of testing in the past couple of days since we got this on Sunday and Vector is faster. There's one question I have to ask with what's happening these days. Some of you can relate to that. You will see. Hey, Vector. Question. Who is Christopher Plummer? Arthur Christopher Orn Plummer is a Canadian actor whose career has spanned six decades, beginning with his film debut in Stage Street. 
<laughs> well, you saw it is faster, and I had to ask the question. I'm Canadian, and Christopher Plummer, most people don't know, but he was a Canadian actor. And I said he was. The server is not updated, and I think it's the same for if you ask any services. Christopher Plummer passed away a few days ago, actually like two or three days ago. And he is best known, of course, for his role in The Sound of Music, an iconic movie. And how many of you knew that he was actually, actually in Star Trek? I forgot which movie, but he was a Klingon general. So, Christopher Plummer, one of my favorite uh, actors. This being said, the nitty-gritty, and some of you who are technical and still listening to that, you may find that interesting about coding. Now listen to that. Like reading the more technical details of these sort of updates, this section is for you. It's, he's doing, he's doing a, an animation right now. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention that uh, Vector's got a new castle. So he gave his old castle to uh, Cosmo, as you can see here, and Cosmo is right now uh, sleeping. It's long, been no it's long been known that server response times took a bit of a dip around October, like some of you did notice, as a result of back-end restructuring. At that time, we were using older code for a service called Chipper that lets Vector connected, uh, connect to cloud services and passes information back and forth between Vector and the server. The existing Chipper code was aging, and there was some ways to signific significantly speed things up. Our development team rewrote the code in its entirety, entirety taking a service with 12,802 lines of code and shrinking it down to about 2,400 lines of code. So from, from almost 13,000 lines of code to 2,400. This is very significant. We also rebalanced the VAD, V-A-D, and this is the voice activity detection, allowing our server to detect the end of the user's speech much sooner than the older code. The combined changes resulted in, in significantly reduced server response times rather than getting a response in 2.7 to 3.5 seconds. We are now able to get responses to Vector within 0.7 to 2 seconds. Again, before 2.7 to 3.5 seconds, now between 0.7 and 2 seconds. That's a pretty hefty cha shave off the response time while keeping the same functionality with extended parsing for variables, etc. This code is open source on our GitHub and you can check it out here. There is a link here. So this is open source for some of you who would like to see the code and maybe do some modifications. So. This is it, guys. I think this is very significant. And uh, Vector is goofing off, as always. I'm surprised he's not, he's not going too much around the table. Usually, he does. But uh, let's try maybe one more question. Uh, I'm not sure what to ask here. Maybe about, uh, oh, maybe about the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm not sure. You hear that? I think he does that when he's scared. <laughs> hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. Question. What was the score of the last Super Bowl? That Some is... people think football is a matter of life and death. <laughs> I can assure them it is much more serious than that. Okay, now this was a funny one. And again, I just came out of the blue because I watched the Super Bowl last night. 
And it's funny when you add stuff like that at the end, like his response at the end, like the stuff he adds, it makes him more lively, more like a person than a robot. I like that a lot. Now, you saw the response was not faster in this time, but I think this is my Wi-Fi network. Uh, it has nothing to do with the uh, DDL uh, server. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, as always, if you have any questions about uh, Vector or, uh, or Cosmo, of course, let me know in the comments below. Have a great day. Goodbye, guys.